Hey, how's it going? This is Joe with Joe and Tell, and right now it is November. November. I'm. It's. It's November. I'm not supposed to have shaved. Darn, I trimmed up. Let me fix that. One second. Hold on. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Yeah. So today I'm gonna be taking a look at the Google Camera app on my old Pixel 2 XL. That's last year's model, and comparing it with the Zongyi Speedmaster f0.95 25 millimeter lens on my GX8 camera. Now this is a crazy comparison, so take it with a grain of salt. I just wanted to see what the Google camera with its new night sight mode could do compared to an actual lens and camera combo. So this is not an ordinary lens, 0.95 is very fast. So, so I'm gonna go out and take a few shots since it's nighttime outside and see how those shots come out, go back to the shop and then take a look and compare them. Night Sight's not actually out yet. Someone in the XDA developer forums has found a way to port this to the Pixel 2 XL, and I believe the Pixel 1 as well. Basically, he found a switch that enabled the Night Sight mode that was already there. Keep in mind that this is not actually the final version. They could possibly make it even better than it is right now. So here's some quick shots comparing some of the images that I got from the Pixel versus this 0.95 lens. So as you may already know, the lower the aperture, the more light it lets in. A common aperture might be something like 1.8, or if you pay a little bit more, 1.4, and more than that is 1.2. So 0.95 is pretty amazing for a lens. My wife likes to call this a sea in the dark lens. So let's take a look at a few of these photos. Let me know what you guys think. As you can tell, Google's computational photography is doing a great job of really brightening things up and still reducing the noise. A lot of times when you see cameras doing this, you'll notice that it starts looking mushy, but it retains a lot of detail still. Another thing that it does well is that even if your hand is moving, it's able to keep a sharp image and not show a lot of blur. Whereas on this camera, if I have to leave it open for a second, I have to make sure not to move at all. So I don't know exactly what Google is doing to make sure that even if your hand moves that it's not showing that blur, but whatever they're doing, they're doing a great job. What I should mention is that a phone is not always gonna replace a bigger camera or something with a faster lens just because it only works with still photos. So if you are shooting video in low light situations, you still need to use a camera with a fast lens. Again, in my previous video where I compared a Micro Four Thirds camera to the Pixel 2 XL, I did say that what I'm hoping for in the future is that these companies start implementing some of that computational photography into these cameras, because that would be amazing. You know, the moment that they start implementing some of these algorithms into these bigger sensors with these interchangeable lens cameras, I think that's when you're gonna start noticing a huge jump in performance for all cameras. So it's a great time right now to be into photography. If you're starting with a smartphone, something like the Pixel 2 XL, iPhone, I think you can do a lot with that. I think a lot of iPhone users are gonna start noticing that their iPhones are not able to take the same quality of pictures as these Pixel devices, especially in low light. With the new algorithms that Google has, I wouldn't be surprised if iPhones started doing the same things they have done it before with the HDR Plus and some of the new stuff that they're doing with computational photography in the new iPhone 10s. So yeah, exciting times. So anyway, I hope you like that crazy comparison. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to download the APK for this. I saw earlier today that they did release a version that works with other phones. So check to see if it works with your phone. So if you liked the video, make sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell to be notified when I post new videos. And if you wanna to listen to my podcast, it's at patreon.com forward slash joeintel. Anyway, that's it. Take care. Bye-bye. Can I show you some photos real quick? Just get your reaction. This is my buddy Lance. You've seen him on my videos before. He has a YouTube channel. It's Lance is Listening, right? That's right. And what do you do on that channel? Quick plug. Uh, real quick, I just listen to what you guys have to say, address certain problems that I feel like a lot of people are going through, and just like to help people. Nice jacket, by the way. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, so I'm going to show you a few pictures here. Some are taken with this lens, Okay. right? 
on this camera and some are taken with my smartphone camera. And these are super low light, like to the point where you couldn't really see outside. These are- This is from your camera, your phone camera. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, from my phone camera. Like this is pitch black. Like you couldn't really see that with your eyes. Yeah. This is like nighttime. How is it not so grainy? Like it's not grainy at all. Damn. That's at like- There's no noise either on that one. That's like- How, what? Pretty crazy, right? What? And this lens is not cheap. This lens is, I think when I bought it, it was like about 500 bucks. So yeah, I'll leave a link to this in the description also. But That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. And some of these are actually, if you notice, are blurry. Yeah, well, that Be happens with the exposure. Because, the because I had to leave it open for about a second or two. And so I couldn't hold it perfectly still. So you get blurry. Whereas when you look at these, like these are zoomed in. I'm so surprised with that camera. Look at this. You'll be my model right now. Okay, so I'm gonna turn all the lights that we have here off, just so you can see how dark it actually is. Yeah, send that to me. That's not horrible. Yeah. What Yours is, what? What is that devil magic? <laughs> That's straight up devil magic. So yeah, what do you what do you think? I mean, dude, there's no compare. I mean, it okay, not horrible at all, but it looks kind of like this one. Yeah. When you put all three next to each other, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> like, Google, what are you doing? Do it for Android, please. <laughs> <laughs> you, it is for Android. What are you talking about? Well, Sa Galaxy. Sorry. No, that's not going to happen. Do it for Galaxy, please. 